So here we'll do an example of the shortest path problem. Uh, we have this network over here. Uh, we'd like to go from A over to H. And uh, so we'll start that out with uh, A. So we're here, A. We'll put that into our predecessor. So there's A, A, A. Now, you don't have to use a spreadsheet. Uh, I'm using a spreadsheet just to make it look nicer and I'm on the computer. Uh, also, you can use a spreadsheet because it'll put it into a table right away. Uh, so then I look at where A can go. It can go to B, C, D. So I put those in. There's B, C, D. Uh, for our labels, we want to uh, get the distances. So to B is 2, to uh, C is 3, and D is 5. Okay, so we have that so far. And we look at this and say, well, what's the closest? And we have uh, from A to B. And uh, so I'm going to copy that and just paste it here. And so there's our permanent label. Now I'd like to gray that out. Um, so, uh, you know, in class we put a line through it, but that grays it out. Now that we have B is permanent, we come over here, B is permanent, and we got there kind of going this way. Okay, so that's uh, one iteration or one step. Uh, now we have B. And so we look at where B can go. It can go to F. It can go to E. Um, so I'll put in B. And there's B. Uh, I'll say E and F uh, because those are um, in alphabetical order. I'll just do it that way. And then for distance, um, we need to... Uh, look at the, the from E so B is 2 now instead of adding it in my head I can just say 2 uh, plus and I look to go to E and that's 5 so I do that and there's 7 and I say equals and uh, again I've got the 2 that uh, started there uh, now, you got to be careful with formulas, so that was good. I clicked on it, but at the same time, um, unless we add dollar signs and so forth, if we copy and paste, we're going to have trouble. So I'm going to actually just put the numbers in. And so that's 2 plus 7, and so that's 9. Uh, I look at all these, and I see there's our shortest is 3. Uh, so again, uh, I copy that and paste it over here. And so we've got our three. I want to gray that out because uh, we don't want to go to C anymore. Uh, sorry, not, uh, yeah, C. That's where we were. Um, so here I want to show that that's our progress at this point. So we've got our shortest path to B, shortest path to C. Um, now C can go to D, e, D and E, and so we want to put those in. So uh, C, now, so that'll be two places. Uh, actually, I've already typed those in, so I'll just, uh, uh, I had them uh, so we couldn't see them. Um, there's D and E. And just like we uh, had done before, I look here, that's 3. Uh, plus one more to D is four, and that's eh, a similar thing to E. I'd already typed those in, so let me show those, and we have four. And so now, as we look at this, four is our closest. Now we could go with D or E. I'm just going to go with D, alphabetical order, doesn't really matter. Uh, copy that, uh, paste it, um, and so we have our our four in there. Now we've used D, uh, so I want to gray that out because we just used it. Uh, but also there's a D up there I need to gray out. Uh, so we've got that. So this is where we are at this point. And D over here is our new spot. 
uh, and we got there by going from C. So now uh, we check D. D, I can go to E or H. And so again, I'm going to have two spots for D. So there those are. Uh, I can go from E and H. So there those are. And, uh, and so if I go to uh, E, that's a total of 6. Uh, so equals... Backspace. Oh, I think I need to just. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. We'll we'll just see if I can get the formula in there. So equals. Uh, and uh, what do we have? We've got the the six plus that four. So uh, four plus six, and that's ten. Uh, I done something similar down here. And that one was 11 because of the 4 plus 7. And so there we uh, have entered those for D. We look again and we see, oh, this one, uh, C to E, is our uh, uh, best thing we can do there. Um, I'd already typed that in, so there's our E for C. Now, everything to E needs to be grayed out. So that one's gray, that one's gray, and this one's gray. Okay, and uh, we went to E, and we got there by going from C. So that's what we have so far. And E, I can actually go to th uh, three places, F, G, and H. So um, there for my three places uh, I'll put in F, G, and H so there's F, G, and H and then if I recall I think I actually have a, a mistake here um, not sure let's see uh, maybe I did and I fixed it um, so from E E starts at 4 and if I go to F uh, that's 4. Yep, 4 plus 4 is 8. And then 4 plus 8 is 12. So that's correct. And 4 plus 3 over here to H is 7. So I guess I fixed my mistake. Uh, I thought I'd have to fix it here while we were doing the video, but I guess I got it already. And uh, uh, so we we look at whatever's closest. Ah, that's the E to uh, No, E to H is 7. Uh, so that's the one we want, and we'll copy it and put it over here. Again, I should already have it there. Um, so there's the E to 7. Now everything involving H needs to be grayed out. So that one's gray, and that one's gray. So we grayed those out. We've got H here. Now H can only go to I. Right, I can't go. I can't go back to E or D. They're already permanent. So uh, H can only go to I. And so if I put all those pieces in, um, let's check those. Make sure I have them right. Uh, we were at seven. We add four, and so that's the eleven. So H can go to I. Uh, total of eleven. Uh, we look and we see F going to. E, or sorry, other way around, E going to F of 8, that's the shortest. So uh, we would copy that and place it here. Um, this should be uh, that, yep. Yeah. So there we have it. Uh, e going to F, and uh, oh, I didn't mark my H over here when we got done. All right, so we had that. And now we've added F, and F uh, came from E as well. So that's what we have for those. And uh, so now we need to add F. Well, where can F go? It can go to G or I. And so there are two places it can go. So uh, we've got the Fs, and we can go to G or I. So we have those, and then here, um, if 
we go to G, we were at 8, and uh, 2 more is 10. So if we were to come down here, that would be 10, 8 to the F, and then 2 more for 10. Uh, and to I, that was 5 plus 8, so that's our 13. So we see where we got that. And um, we, uh, oh, and I think uh, I had forgotten to gray out the F, so we better do that while I'm thinking about it. So that when we look for what's the shortest, we see uh, from F to G is the shortest. And uh, so if we were to copy that and put it up here, uh, we should have this. Um, not sure why it says 8. That may be where I had my mistake. Uh, 10 um, is, uh, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, I think I had a mistake there. So there, I fixed it. And we can actually you know, copy that just to make sure we've got it in there right. And paste. And there's our from F uh, to G, a total of 10. Now, this is an interesting case because, okay, so that says we went there, we go here. Well, you see there's nothing to add here. I can't get to anything from G, so um, I don't bother with G. Uh, now, I still have to cross out G or, you know, turn it gray. So I do that and do that. Uh, but there was there was nothing to add so I cross them out and now I look for the shortest and the shortest is this one uh, H to I being 11 um, and that should be here H to I being 11 and that takes us to I from H and now we have finally gotten to I uh, plus, as you look back, we found the shortest path to every other place as well. Um, we can go ahead if we want and cross these out or shade them gray. So uh, we've done that, but now if I want my shortest path, you know, I can, I can view it here. But in the table, uh, what I would do is I'd say, well, let's, let's start it at I here and backtrack. So uh, to get to I, I had to use H. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, highlight with yellow just so we can see. And then uh, to get to H, I had to go through E. And to get to E, uh, I had to go through C. And to get to C, I started with A. And so we can see uh, our backwards path, I to H. So see I to H to E, to C, to A. And we can then follow it forward, A to C, C to E, E to H, H to I, for a total of 11. And there we have uh, solved our shortest path problem.